Hello everybody, my name is Copix, and welcome back to Weebmas. Um, you may notice I'm in a different place, and that would be because I am at my parents' house, celebrating the Weebmas times. It's the second day of Weebmas, and I'm not wearing my costume. I'm sorry, forgive me, please. I forgot it. I forgot it twice. I went back to go grab a microphone, because I forgot one. Well, I didn't forget one. I brought one with me but I decided that I'd get this one because I didn't have a stand and rather than bring like a big old stand and get another thing in my way like this is a really really big mess right here in this corner I just didn't want to bring one so I brought my shotgun microphone and I forgot my costume again so I'm sorry there <laughs> but but you forgive me right you're not gonna you're not gonna make me regret it and make me learn a lesson, right? I do deserve to be punished. All right, give me a second. Here's top of headphone John. This is what I do for you. I've got my costume twice. Also, there might be some noises of dog. Even though I put dog outside, dogs still make noise. And also other family members. You forget these things. How good it is to not have this noise. We're going to be playing three strange Christmas games for the second day of Weebmas. Because if you go on Game Jolt, or on Steam, on the Steam library, and you go past the first and second page, things go down really quickly. I don't know how to segue this, so I guess we're just gonna jump right into three strange Christmas games that people actually spend time on. The first game we have, it says ACS. And, oh, I remember this. I remember what this is. Here we go. Made with Unity. Anti-capitalist Sansa. <laughs> okay, so the music is copyrighted. So I'll, I'll play my own thing. There aren't any noises really anyway. There's just holly jolly Christmas going on. So, let's see. A book, a story, a tale, a fable. A fable, a tale, a book. And so I just go to people. A, Mon a Monet or some crap. <laughs> books, I love books. Can I please have a new book, Santa? I've been, I've been worth it? I'm a complete bookworm. Books are good, but do you really need to own it? Why don't you visit a library? You can even own it with your whole family. The need to own everything and, and then through, I need to take off my headphones. It's distracting me. The need to own everything. And then throw it away, and then throwing it away a few months later is exactly what's flushing our society down the drain. You know you'll only read the book once, and even if you read it a thousand times, the library isn't going anywhere. At least if we keep using it. Thanks, anti-capitalist Santa. A horse. Why do you know why? I'm not asking questions, actually. This is the wrong game to ask questions. Oh, Santa. I so much want to get a new pony this year. I've been really good, I swear. A pony? What do you need a pony for? Just because it's cute? Don't you realize animals are living, breathing things too? You can't just get yourself a new animal each year and then forget the last one. Pets give a lot of comfort and great company, but you have to view them as equal to you, not as some furry toys that exist simply to amuse you. A real freaking Picasso. <laughs> Give presents. Hello there, Santa. I've been pretty good this year. I don't know what I want. Maybe buy me a beer. 
I appreciate your sentiment of not wanting anything specific, you're still perpetuating culture where you have you have to buy something for each other. If you don't need anything, why not just tell everyone you really don't want anything? Be stern. Be a this absurd cycle of <laughs> owing each other. Owing each other presents must be must end by any means necessary. <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> Bye. Santa, Santa, please, Santa, may I have a new powerful Nintendo as a Christmas present? Do you really need a new and more powerful Nintendo? You just got one last year. The Nintendo market is built all built around the advertising telling you that you you'll be left behind and not cool if you don't buy every new generation of Nintendi. This is pure tech wankery. <laughs> and it has no bearing on the artistic quality of produced games. Do not buy into these lies. These lies. Christmas sucks. I don't want anything as a present. I just want to be left alone, please. You are on the right track here, but your nihilism will not get you anywhere. Instead of dismissing the people who love you, maybe bring Christmas to someone who doesn't have anybody. Visit a homeless shelter, bake something. Bake some cookies for the poor, instead of just complaining how crap everything is. Santa doesn't swear. Do your best to make Christmas, and other seasons too, better for everybody. Wow, Santa, what a complete downer. I'm leaving. That was... I mean, I guess a good thing to remember, but at the same time, I don't like Santa. That Santa's gross. I want capitalist Santa. I want Santa to tell me that I need to buy things. Anyway, I'm deleting this crap. All right, on to, um... <laughs> it, it says scone pad because that's short for Santa Claus overdoses on Percocets and dies. <laughs> Why did somebody make this? Needs a security scan. That'll tell you what I'm about to play. Okay, so here's Santa overdoses on Percocets and dies. Uh, I wonder if this is made by the same people who made... Uh... Oh, cool, we'll go up there. And then shift is to run. Uh, I was saying... Oh, sorry, I was trying to do too many things at once. Uh, I was wondering if this was made by the same people who made... Uh, Mr. Krabs overdoses on ketamine and dies. Charlie, I hope I hope you beat that. I hope you get the world record. Okay. Oh. <sighs> I, 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 I mean, the game... It... It... It wasn't false advertising, that's for sure. <laughs> it, he, he, he overdosed on one thing of Percocet and died. That's it. Game over. <laughs> Okay, we got one more game. Hopefully it'll impress me. And it's called... Visra Cleanup Detail. Santa's Rampage. Which you can buy on Steam. For two dollars. Okay, let's just start assignment. Uh, solo. Save file. I don't have a save file. I just... I don't want to just start going to work. Janitor, age 42, junior executive janitor. Uh, tragic events have unfolded at this workshop. Must in no way deter you from your performing your duties in a manner benefiting the company's reputation. Your work here entails cleaning up the horrific aftermath of Mr. Claus's unfortunate breaking down. This includes the obvious slaughter of any broken items and so forth. Please conduct yourself appropriately as this assignment will reject or reflect upon your permanent record. Fail to follow any of the company's guidelines and regulations 
and you may find yourself without a job. Once your assignment is complete, the corporation will take ownership of the workshop and any remaining items and employees. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, sand. Oh, footprints. Oh no. Oh. No! Kill a dead. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh gosh. Uh. That should be good. Slosh Omatic. Cool. Let's just set that down. I don't even know what that is. I need to... Oh! Just burn it. Stick it in the fire. I think that's what's needed here. Okay, so I have no idea what it is I'm supposed to do. Here's a bucket. Interact. Ah, there we go. I just gotta punch it. Okay, punch it, Chewy. So much cleaning. Oh, no. Oh, I'm already out. Punch it. Okay. Ah, it's so much. It's so much blood. What, what am I supposed to do with this? this oh. it's elf sized is the problem it's the, the problem is that it fits I'd rather put you in here though don't worry about it no one has to know uh, oh no the rain Oh, it's everywhere. <sighs> ah, too much of the slack spaniel. Why would you do it? This is nice, man. Mrs. Claus won't be happy. Le baguette. Ah, uh, is this a Molotov? No. Oh, sh shotguns. Where does any of this go? There's just so much, you know? Oh. It's a little bit on the wall there, just a little smudge. A little smudge is all. So, oh. I'm tracking everywhere. As my be. As my be. I should probably make a path. A clean path. Okay, 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 okay. I should make a bucket wall. So I can just have one good place where I want to go. It's starting to get all cleaned up. I like that. I like it. I like it.
so much for my bucket wall. Here's another bucket. All done. There we go. Crisis averted. I only ever hope that it's not me or my wife or God forbid any of my children to just get on the wrong side of Santa when he gets a little too friendly with his schnapps, you know. We all try really hard. I've I've been working here for a very long time. I'm 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 just about ready to be able to accept retirement. And you know, I really do love this job. I do love making toys, but you know, sometimes it's all you can do to stay alive in this job. You know, they say, work till you die, you better do something you love, right? This is, this is, this is, this is uh, very literal and very unfortunate way of reading into this, into that saying. Okay, 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 we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. I, I can, I, I see, I see the way. Oh, that would have been bad. I have the bucket get burned up too? The best way to solve all of my problems in this game is just burn it, really. Burn it. Burn Santa. No, 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 no. He, he, he can't hear me talking like that. No, I'd get, get in a lot of trouble for that. You know, Santa's a, a pretty nice guy when you get to know him. You know, when he's not drunk or I or anything, and this is a great guy. Talk to him about anything. No, I, I bet. I bet Santa got mad because these elves didn't use coupon code Tom Assurance at Dragon's Treasure checkout and save two dollars off of a ten dollar order. And this guy, well, he got ripped in half. He went all walked all the way up here and busted through the wall because he didn't use Tom Assurance twenty to get four dollars off of a twenty dollar plus purchase I, I'd be mad too I don't think I'd be this mad but I'd, I'd, I'd be mad I understand I feel like this is the same Santa that just overdosed on ketamine and, or Percocets and died it looks like burning though is like the correct answer for anything okay I'm just gonna burn you don't worry about it don't worry about it buddy Santa loves all his workers he loves us all. He would never hurt you. Never. I'm treading blood in my nice clean floor. Because you guys just had to go and not use code Tom Assurance 20. Now you understand what happens when you just go, oh, yeah, you just, you just sell out. You know, he's just doing it for the lols. Getting paid to do to say this. He doesn't really, you know, he doesn't really care. No. This is what happens when you don't use code Tom Assurance 20. This is what I have to deal with. Oh. Oh. Oh, get rid of the murder weapon. Get rid of the murder weapon. We don't need that. Two hours later. I'm done. I, I don't even want to anymore. It's too messy. Santa, you done fricked yourself. Uh, this is a, you can play this multiplayer, and I think that'd be a whole lot more fun if you had a couple of friends to play this game and watch the chaos ensue, but I'm, I'm done with this game, I'm not. <sighs> but yeah, that's three strange Christmas games. I hope that was enjoyable. I hope you find some strange Christmas games or you've heard of some. Let me know in the comments of some that you may have played or some that I, you think I should play. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of weakness.